Okay, so this video will be in the boxing series before we get into uh, throwing the punches, or whenever you watch this video. Let's talk about how to protect your hands. Um, people have the mistaken idea that the boxing gloves were, were added to the sport to protect the opponent uh, from the concussive uh, force. Boxing gloves are used to protect my hands. Uh, and actually, ironically, I'd be able to hit uh, a little harder and a little more often because my hands are protected. They're all padded under, you know, anywhere from 8 to 16 ounces of padding. I can throw punches and bunches because I'm not bruising or hurting, risking my knuckles or delicate hand bones every time I throw a punch. Bare knuckle boxing, you don't see as many punches being thrown because there's, a, there's the chance you're going to hit skull or not get a deep, uh, decent enough punch to um, uh, render the opponent uh, unconscious or unable to fight. So... When you're practicing boxing, I don't want you to hit anything yet. We're just going to learn the punches and things in this video series. But you're going to want to learn how to make um, a fist properly. So you can use the hand wraps to protect some of the knuckles, uh, protect the knuckle skin when you're working the bags. But to make a proper fist, here's how you're going to do that. You don't just squeeze and put your hand here or your thumb here and your wrist is bent. Meh. Okay. You're going to roll your fingers down. Roll your fingers down tight until your knuckles, uh, your fingernails are buried in your palm. Then you're going to lock that thumb across the bottom. You're going to squeeze and your wrist should be straight. No deviation. No radial or ulnar deviation. And no extension or overflexion. Okay? Just a nice tight, nice, tight fist. Okay? And then a straight in line like that. I'm also going to have to talk to you about nonsense about aiming with that center knuckle or hitting with these two knuckles like uh, Masoyama, Kaioshinkai, Karate. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. You're going to keep your hand, uh, your fist nice and tight, and you're going to try to hit with that entire surface of the fist, right? Bam, the entire surface, uh, just to protect you a little bit. Unless you're a professional boxer, and we're going to get into that. We're not going to get into that kind of detail, right? So the next thing you might want to use, especially later when we start working the bag, are some hand wraps. Um, this is a long strip of cloth, okay. just a long strip of cloth, and it goes around and around and around your hand to kind of support your wrist. There's several different ways to wrap. You can go on YouTube and search this, but essentially you're using it for two things. If you see my fist, see how the knuckles, they're not even straight across. These are a little, a little lower right, than that prominent center knuckle. And what I want to do is I want to balance that surface out so I'm hitting with one flat surface to spread the impact of the, the force out. So I use the wraps to build it up. Especially when I tighten my fist, you can see how it twists those knuckles in. A poorly thrown punch will often land improperly and fracture the two metacarpals on the, the medial side of your hand, uh, the pinky side, sometimes called a boxer's or a barroom fracture from an improperly thrown punch. So you hook the little, the little thumb over here. I'll do another video on the hand wrapping in more detail and some variations as we get closer to um, the video, the end of the video series when we're going to do some of the bag punching. But for right now, I'm just going to show you one of the things you can do okay, to wrap around and around. And then I can come over and then sometimes people like to fold that and lay that across the knuckles. I just use the end of it to wrap across there. And then these have, uh, these have a little Velcro tie, which honestly is uh, pretty handy. And you can just wrap that around and tighten it up. So it's done a couple things. I've got a layer of padding over my knuckles. And you see how that sort of laid them out. I just went between the, the uh, first and second, or sorry, the index and middle finger and my ring and pinky finger. This knuckle's already built up, so I skipped that one. You could go through there a couple more times. And then I've got a few layers wrapped around here. I've got my thumb kind of pulled, uh, locked in tight, and I've wrapped my wrist. There's lots and lots of ways to wrap your, wrap your fist. You don't have to do that each time you practice boxing. I just want to point out that later, uh, we're going to be showing you how to wrap to protect your wrist and knuckles when you're working the heavy bag. There is no amount of wrapping you can do to protect yourself from an improperly made fist. Okay. You don't have to use the under wrap and the taping. If you're going to tape up for a contest or for um, more serious boxing, get someone that knows um, how to do the taping, the under wrap, underlayment, and show you how to do that or have that done for you. 
Basic wrapping, we'll show you some more videos later on different varieties you can do. But first you wanna practice making a fist. Now, once your fist, roll the fingers down, tuck the thumb across, nice and tight. Fingers down, tuck the thumb across, nice and tight. Now, my fist should be like I'm squeezing a pebble or I'm trying to, I'm trying to squish something small in my fist. But when my hands are squeezed like this, it's hard to move or throw punches fast when my hands are squeezing so much. So you wanna keep a nice loose fist, right? Especially inside the gloves. The fist is loose, loosely formed, until right before you make impact, and then it tightens down. Then it tightens down. So this is my target, my fist is loose, and then right before it makes impact, I tighten things down so that it hits solid and loose. And you can see the difference. If it's solid all the way through, it's got kind of a dull sound. If it's too loose, just open hand, makes that sound. Tightening just at the moment of, uh, right when it strikes, makes more of a, more of a smack, right? Tighten up right before you hit. So when you're practicing boxing, you can keep your hands loose while you're working the, the, uh, the mechanics of the punch so your shoulders and things can move, but when you start working the bag or hitting things, don't get in the habit of punching loose a lot. You see professional boxers throwing punches and loosening up, and they look cool because their hands are out, but it gives people the wrong idea. Nice tight fist, they're loose on your face. When the hand comes off my face just before it hits, it tightens to make the strike and then back, okay? Just like that. Okay, uh, so that's how to protect your fist, make a good fist. Check out the next video in the series where we talk about uh, the mechanics of the punch.